happening. I can't believe this. I can't believe it either, but this is real. Wake up, both of you! There's no time for chit chat. We've got to get out of here now. Sir, I'll take the alternate route and sweep one of the snipers. Roger that, Ramsey. Get with me. Dylan, don't let those things get away! Wizard, locate Adela. Sergeant Sewell, located. Unit is engaged with enemies and not responding. Keep going. I'll go back and get Adela. We'll meet you outside the city.
damage! Uh. Help him! I'll cover you. Dad, I'm so sorry. Have we heard from the OCU? They claim they had nothing to do with this. Yeah, right. There's no question those Wanzas we fought were OCU models. And everyone knows Apollo's chariot is based on the OCU. The UCS government wouldn't fall for that either. Yeah. The army's already mobilizing. We're going to war. I'll make them pay. This is a war, Dylan. There is nothing a civilian like you could do. But sir, why would any... No sir, I'm not questioning. Understood. Dylan Ramsey, the UCS Army needs you. You've been offered a commission as a specialist in the 72nd under my command. Sir, is this a joke? Brass isn't famous for its sense of humor. So what do you say, Mr. Ramsey? The city of New York suffered extensive damage from the fall of the orbital elevator Percival. The UCS government, desperate for someone to blame, immediately accuses the OCU, based on the OCU-constructed wanzers used in the assault. The OCU denies the allegations, claiming that, even though OCU wanzers were used, the pilots were not affiliated with them. Instead, they accuse the UCS of staging the incident to undermine their international standing. Tensions high. The UCS begins deployment of a retaliatory force on Huffman Island, the only location where the two nations share an overland border. UCS troops on Huffman assemble on the northern coastline, then move to invade OCU territory. The OCU detects the UCS deployment and launches a preemptive strike. They stop the UCS in their tracks. As part of the attack, the OCU's Electronic Warfare Divisions launch an incapacitating cybernetic attack on Fort Monis, turning the fort's defensive systems against the UCS. Left practically defenseless, enemy units overran the fort. A distress call indicates UCS personnel are trapped inside Depot 5. Already engaged in battle, the UCS can only afford to deploy two units on a rescue mission. Amongst the units, Squad 2, the 72nd Mobile Company, led by Captain Russell Hamilton, including new recruit Dylan Ramsey. Squad 2 takes the fort from the front, while Squad 1 moves to flank them from the rear. Now that you're part of the Army, Dylan, you will receive funds each time you eliminate a military target, and when you complete mission objectives, use these funds to upgrade and customize your Wanzer. When upgrading your Wanzer, remember that the total weight of all your Wanzer's parts and weapons must be less than the power generated by the Wanzer's torso. Pre-built are Wanzers that have been set up to match proven combat types. If you don't want to spend time optimizing your parts or weapons loadout, and prefer to get back into the action quickly, just choose one of these pre-configured rides. When upgrading Wanzer parts, remember to consider all factors, not just weight and armor. Mobility for legs, 
accuracy for arms, and power generation for the torso all have a big impact on your Wander's overall performance. In general, lighter arms trade armor rating for increased accuracy, and lighter legs trade armor for increased speed. You can also change the type of backpack you want to equip in the weapons section. Changing backpacks will greatly affect the abilities of your Wander. Various melee weapons are also available for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Equipping a shield will allow you to protect yourself from incoming damage for as long as its armor lasts. Additionally, a shield can be used to shield bash opponents that get too close. I have a feeling our next assignment will be tough, so take the time to get it right. I'll see you at the staging area.